You didn't just come through on the merger. You bluffed Hardman, turned Monica Eaton, and put us over the top on Folsom Foods. Now, that's a lot of coming through in the clutch. And I wouldn't have saved your ass if I didn't think you deserved to be here. I don't know what to say. Well, the usual response is thank you. The usual road to getting here doesn't involve stabbing someone in the back. Doesn't it? When I was 16, I came home, my mother sat me down and said my parents were separating. Trial basis. But the good news was she was going to get me a car to help with my sister. All my friends talked about how lucky I was to have it. I hated that car. Every time I got in it, I... not just reminded me. Why are you telling me this? Because five years later, that same car got me to Harvard, which led me here. So you can think of this office as a reminder of what you did to Harvey, or as a symbol of what you can accomplish at the firm. Now, do you still have something to say? No. No, I don't. Do you ever get back together? No. No, they didn't. Hey, uh, go ahead. No, it's all right. You were here first. Why are you being so polite? Come on, you have one stupid copy. You could have finished it already. I'll do it for you. Louis, I... Why? It's complicated. Well, simplify for me, Mike. Harvey. He's the one who hired me. Now he wants nothing to do with me. What are you talking about? He just gave you a new office. No, Jessica gave me a new office. If it was up to Harvey, I, I wouldn't even have a cubicle. What happened? All that matters is that uh, I can't fix it. You know, when we were in the bullpen, Harvey was like Superman. And then one day, Hartman decided to just knock him down a peg, gave him this bullshit Simon, undoable workload, unwinnable case. And I took it as a chance to break down his walls and offer my help. And I just thought this just might be the chance that we could become friends. Yeah. And he looked at me, how dare I? I get it. He's alone. He always has been. He always will be. Always was. Harvey is not Superman anymore. He's Batman. And Batman needs Robin. And I just need to remind him of that. What's the one thing that Harvey values over everything else? Winning. Yeah, you help him win. He'll remember why he needs you. I have to figure out what cases he's working on. The IT department has access to every computer in the entire firm. Syncs up every night. So all I have to do is get access to Harvey's hard drive. That place is a fortress. Benjamin. <clears throat> it's you. Oh, that's sweet. You remember me. Oh, yes. I remember everyone who's ever bamboozled me into giving them a top-of-the-line laptop. Their names are Michael Ross. I didn't bamboozle you, Benjamin. I won it fair and square. And I've been tracking every internet move you've made for the past 10 months, waiting for the slip-up. Bet you thought you had me at teenybikini.com. No. No, no. Because I cross-referenced that with your workplace harassment case, and I knew. But don't think I'm not aware that you went home for dinner and used your personal computer to go back there. OK, that's not actionable, but hacking my personal computer is. Good luck proving that. Now, what do you want? I want access to a hard drive. No way. Not only that, I want you to give me whatever I want, whenever I want it for the rest of your life. And why would I do that? Oh, right. Because I just recorded you admitting to violating the law. The XJS 5000. Mm -hmm. You, you, you set me up. Yeah. You knew that I would track your home computer. And after you've been convicted, you'll be lucky to be hired as a network administrator at a high school in Jersey. How long have you been waiting here? 
Since I found out what you need? What I need is for you to leave me alone. No, what you need is information on Ava Hesington. Look, in 2008, her company tried to destroy evidence of an oil spill? OK, well, in 2010, they, they bought off a whistleblower. And if the next thing you're going to tell me is about an environmental impact study in 2006, don't. You think you're not replaceable? I got all that from an associate I picked at random. I've been doing this before I met you, and I'll be doing it long after I've forgotten all about you. You had enough? No. No, you know what? I haven't, because you haven't. Excuse me? You haven't said whatever you have to say to rip me to shreds enough so that you can start to forgive me. So go ahead. Whatever it takes, I can take it. Go. Harvey, I am sorry, all right? But I need you to listen to me now. Listen to you? You know when I would have listened to you? That night. Jessica threatened me. I don't, I don't care. Anyone comes at you with any threat at all, you come to me. I don't give a shit if it's the Queen of England. You come to me, you tell me, you tell me everything. That's what goddamn loyalty is. Get in a time machine and undo what you did with Jessica. Oh, shoot, you can't do that. You know what? I figured you'd bring this file back. There's also one in your bottom drawer. You might want to grab that, too. And just in case of that, I put seven other copies in his office. Because whether he forgives me or not, he's still going to need it. Some random associate gave him all that information on Ava Hesington? No way. It was Scotty. Yeah, I found the ticket to Trinidad Tobago. It's not a giant leap. The only problem is, Scotty's not here. She's in London. And Harvey, he is still going to need this. This file doesn't lead to Harvey forgiving you. Anna, please, could you just separate our relationship from yours and his for just like one second? Are you kidding me? Do you think I'm mad just because of him? You did this to me, too. And whether you appreciate it or not, I have had your back since the day that you got here. Yes, yes, you have. But what about last year? When I had your back, you ignored me, and it almost cost him his license. The difference is, I did what I did for him, not for me. And I didn't get a brand new office for it. I got fired. Listen. Benjamin, I don't want to hold what's on this dictaphone over you for the rest of your life. Why not? I don't need any more enemies. I'd rather have a friend, but I do need a favor. And if I don't give it to you, then what do you do with the dictaphone? It's the only copy there is. Go on, erase it. Then I'll ask you my favor. How do I know that this is the only copy? Because I'm giving you my word. What do you need? I need you to build me a time machine. What was so important that I had to come down here right away? Don't tell me you want a bigger office. You told me that I can think of this office as a reminder of what I did to Harvey or as a symbol of what I can do at this firm. But the thing is, I don't want to be here if I'm not solid with Harvey. Well, that's between you and Harvey. It's between you and me. You put yourself between us when you blackmailed me. Well, the word you're looking for is extortion, not blackmail. And I'm not going to comment on that accusation. But as for your choices, you made those all by yourself. So don't come crying to me. <clears throat> this is a copy of the letter you wrote to the district attorney when you threatened to expose me. Expose you? For what? I never wrote a letter like that. I'm not recording you. I don't need to record you. This letter was printed from your hard drive, which has your computer's digital signature. What do you want? I want to know, if you had the chance, would you have traded that car to get your parents back together? It's a stupid goddamn question, and you know it. I never had that chance. So what does it matter? Because I do. What do I want? I want to give this office back. I didn't earn it. I don't want it. And if there's a chance that'll help Harvey forgive me, I'm going to take it. Oh, and uh, if you ever do send that letter, you're in the same boat as me.